Now we'll quickly run through with the debate that happened in the Legislative Assembly. In the Legislative Assembly, debates and discusses, discussions on various issues, right? all the MLAs they gather. Because there are several burning issues which needs to be discussed and later on everybody has to come up with a conclusion. They all have to decide unanimously on one thing and that's how decisions are taken. All these discussions, they happen in legislative assembly. Everybody asks questions and then people, they discuss other things. Example, we read that news, what happened over there? We discussed the discussion of the shortage of water. Now we'll see what happens is when that news was highlighted. So the MLA of that particular constituency of Akhanda Nandan Gao, he stood up and he started explaining his viewpoint that in my constituency of Akhanda Nandan Gao, during the last three weeks, there were 15 deaths because of diarrhea. Now this person has come up with data also to be very specific. The person continues and says that I think it is a shame because this government has not been able to check the situation of a simple problem like diarrhea while proclaiming itself to be a champion of technology. So what is happening is this person might be from the opposition party because that is what we can understand from the kind of the language he is using. He is directly allegating the government that in my constituency there are 15 that's because of diarrhea and the government is unable to do anything. Then I would call the attention of the minister in charge of the health to take immediate measures to control the action. Then second MLA says that my question is this, that why the government hospitals are in such a bad situation? Why is the government not appointing proper doctors and other medical staff? And how the government deals with this, with this situation when a large number of people are suffering? And you know what happens when large people, large number of people, they suffer from the same disease? That disease turns into an epidemic. The third says my constituency of Tolpati too has shortage of water. Now, there are different MLAs, they are discussing different problems. Everybody is discussing the problem his or her constituency is facing. So two of them have already discussed. Now the third stood up and says that women have to travel three to four kilometers every day to fetch water. Which is nothing surprising in India. This uh, is a very common situation. But when you have to pounce on the government. Every small issue becomes a big one. How many tankers have been put into service to supply water? Now this MLA is asking a question that this is the problem and what have you done for the solution? How many wells and ponds have been cleaned and disinfected? Now the fourth MLA says, I think my colleagues are exaggerating the problems. The government has taken the steps to control the situation. Now, if you just hear the conversation, you will get to know that the first three member of legislative assemblies, that means the MLAs, were from the opposition party because, you know, they were allegating the government for not functioning properly. And the fourth MLA was from the ruling party and that is why it is defending the government. And in his opening statement says this thing that... My friends are just exaggerating the situation. The government is doing the needful. Water tankers have been put into the service. ORS packets have been distributed because, uh, you know, if somebody suffers from diarrhea, ORS is a thing that is given to them. It is a powder kind of form, which is to be taken multiple number of times in a day. The government is doing every possible thing that is being needed. Now, fifth MLA says that we have poor facilities in our hospitals. There are hospitals that do not have doctors and no medical staff has been appointed for the last few years. In another hospital, a doctor has gone on a long leave. This is shameful. And I think the situation is going to, you know, become worse from the bad. And how are we going to ensure that the ORS packet reach all the affected families? Then the sixth MLA says that the opposition members are unnecessarily blaming the government. The previous government did not pay any attention to the sanitation. And we have taken a drive to ensure that the garbage is picked up and cleaned. The, those places where they collect the garbage is cleaned every day thoroughly. This was the entire conversation. Now what happens? We'll see working of the government. The government work is not only uh, just limited to the legislative assembly. Other mediums, they also play a crucial role, an important role in influencing government's decision. 
So whatever is happening in those closed four walls of the assembly is not something that is just influencing the government's decision and government's action. Rather, there are many other factors also which highlights that if the government is functioning properly or not. And those other medias are also an important factor to influence and just push the government to do a particular thing. For example, anything good or bad that a government does is reflected in the newspaper reports and also on the TV channels. Government spells the garbage. So this is uh, again a newspaper report that says during the past few weeks there have been many deaths in the district. This is a case study which shows that you know since the, the garbage was not collected on time so it resulted in multiple increase of many animals and insects and because of which there are several diseases that are suffering because of which people are suffering. What happens? Garbage attracts dogs, rats, mosquitoes and flies. It gives foul smell which causes people, if it is, you know, because of which it becomes difficult for the people to breathe and out of it, people and children, they become sick. What happened? The government decided to make new rule for the state regarding sanitation and health facilities because that was one major problem which was highlighted everywhere. It was being discussed in legislative assembly and also was highlighted by the newspapers and TV channels. So government think, thought that it is the time where we should take some decisions and where we should do something to ensure that the sanitation facilities and health facilities are being taken care of. What it do? Like it made it compulsory for municipal corporations to ensure adequate toilet facilities in urban areas. And also it ensured that there are proper doctors and health workers appointed wherever it is required. Answer of the health minister in press conference. Now when this issue was highlighted so much, there was a press conference that was organized. And what was the answer that the minister gave us? It announced compensation to all the families which suffered, any person in their family suffered or there was loss of family member, appointment of high level committee to look into the matter that who is responsible for creating such kind of nausea so that proper action can be taken and one can see that government performs various actions at various levels. Working of the government includes various functions. What it does is chief minister and minister takes action through various departments because as I told you that there are different departments which are responsible for the smooth functioning of different different areas that is why if the whatever situation we discussed was related to the health and sanitation facility so the health uh, minister was made responsible to ensure to look into this matter and also to see this thing that it did not happen again answer questions that are asked in the legislative assembly this is also the function of the government because the government should come up with the appropriate and accurate answers which should be satisfactory enough for the other person to understand this thing that yes the government is doing something and if it is not then government should ensure this thing that in near future we will be taking some actions for the same cause and response to other medium also and also helps in making law. Besides legislative assembly there are other places also where opinions are expressed about the working of the government and action is demanded. Like Again, we will talk about newspapers, TV channels and other organizations which keeps an eye on the functioning of the government because India is a democratic country. I keep telling you again and again that a democratic country means that the government should take care of the citizens in the best possible way it can. And for all those things, we are paying the money and that is the reason that there, apart from media, there are several other organizations which ensures that the government is doing its work effectively, efficiently and properly. In a democracy, there are various ways through which people express their views and also take action. One such is press conference. What happens in a press conference is there are a large number of people. They come from different newspaper channels. They sit and they ask questions turn by turn to the minister relevant. The ministers and those some government officials who are responsible that the government has taken the steps because they have to answer their questions and there were many questions. In this case also there were several questions that were asked in the press conference and they were answered properly because the questions that are being asked by the reporters and the answer that are being answered 
that are being given by the minister responsible are published in the newspaper and what the, you know sometimes a live view of press conferences is also shown on some TV channels that this is what is happening. The government in a state is headed by chief minister. So chief minister is basically the head like a prime minister is the head of the entire government at the central level. Similarly, a chief minister is the head of all the government officials in the state level. He appoints the ministers at various levels which we have already discussed. These ministers have different departments like the public work department or the health department or the sanitation department like that. The bureaucracy is responsible for the functioning of these departments because once a minister is appointed, it is his job to see to this that all the functions are being done properly and in an effective manner. Although it is the chief minister and the cabinet who are answerable to the people, they do so in the assembly by answering the questions and through media by holding press conferences because whatever they have done should reach to the people. Whatever steps they have taken, whatever developmental programs they have released and launched, people should know about them. And these are done by releasing press conferences and telling the people that what have we done for their good. Laws are also made in the legislative and government department, they implement these laws. This is the flow chart of the government. On the top, it's union government, then state government, and then local government. Local government includes municipal corporation, municipal council, and Nagar Panchayat. And Panchayat has district panchayat, intermediate panchayat, and village panchayat, which we have already discussed in our previous sessions. The last topic for today is wallpaper project. A wallpaper is an interesting activity through which research can be done on partner topic of interest. So, you have various partners and a topic can be given to you, a research topic on which you will research, you will come up with your ideas also, with the problem also, with the solution also, everything. The following photographs explain the different ways in which you can do a wallpaper project in your classroom. So, that was just an idea that was given in your textbook and the same we have discussed over here. Next time, whenever you feel like there are four or five kids of same kind as you are and you all are stuck into one common problem and you want to find out that what is the root cause of this problem and how to solve this problem, sit, take the uh, use of internet and whatever technical devices you have with you, sit, do research and come up with the solutions. Also, you can add few things on your own. To here, I would like to add that there are few sites where you can add your ideas and opinions which even other people can refer the way you refer to other sites when you are stuck. With that, we will wind up this chapter. Thank you.